Big welcome to you all for a very big game. It is the final of the Carabao Cup, the English League Cup, and going for silverware, two fine teams. I'm Martin Tyler, with me is Alan Smith. Today's game, Manchester United against Aston Villa. He does keep himself in amazing condition, Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's ready to go again here. He's always ready to go, isn't he? What a professional. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Bruno Fernandes starts with Christian Eriksen in midfield. And the great man is up front today, Cristiano Ronaldo. The Aston Villa team for this game. Well, it's 4-4-2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the full-backs to provide the width in this shape. Thank you for attending Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. final of the English League Cup. Well, it's a magnificent atmosphere within this stadium and I'm expecting a superb game. Comes in with a tackle. Coutinho. It's Ings. Not a great tackle, I must say. It's not an occasion here of the player going to get a, a second chance. He's going to get booked straight away. And that's a bit of a burden at this early in the match. Well, it is, but I don't think he can have too many complaints. He's, he's dived in and left the ref with little choice. In goes the corner, and the corner claimed by the goalkeeper, not too difficult. <laughs> Neatly intercepted. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. There's some movement in the dugout, we're going to get a change here. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide as they've done here. Luca Dini. Coutinho looking for teammates in the middle. Simple save for David De Gea. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Fernandez. 
Very skilled. These passes may look easy, but the uh, work off the ball is very important. And it's out of play. Bruno Fernandes. Again. Rashford. Want to use the full width of the pitch now, the team in possession all the time against a dogged defensive unit that they're facing at the moment. Coutinho. Still 20 minutes to go. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Fred. Part of the game, the use of the substitutes, very important part of the tactics too. We've got to change. Excellent interception. Throw in now. And Manchester United are going to make a substitution here. Fred. Sancho, Cristiano Ronaldo, so good in the air. Put away, but not out of harm's way. They've gone wide, chance to get the ball in the box. An opponent around him, that's good screening of the football. Far too close across to the keeper and we have nine remaining minutes Anthony Fred this is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now really strong tackle and the ball's gone out for a throw now they're looking for room in a wide position Heads it out of play, and it will be a throw in. Anthony. He's got a chance to cross. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Maguire. On my watch, six minutes to go in the second period of extra time. Sancho. Fred. Well picked off by the defender there for what could have been a potentially match-winning pass in these circumstances. There are four minutes left in the second half of extra time. There's some potential in this move. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. Two minutes of added time. Dying minutes now. But if Villa score now, it surely would be the winning goal. He's looking for the cross. Made the challenge well. Well, after all the action, we're going to go to penalties. And this is the first penalty here. Pressure on. Right into the bottom corner. Well, just what you want at this stage. Ready to go. The next penalty taker. And it is a goal in the shootout from the spot. They haven't questioned that run up. I don't know how they have the nerve to take them like that. Brilliant. No, it looks wonderful, but when it doesn't work, oh, you're in trouble. Up he comes for the penalty. Well, it's close, but it goes down as a miss. It certainly does, and it was a poor effort in many ways. Didn't strike it cleanly. It's time to step up. 
on the penalty taken, risking a yellow card with that stutter, but the goalkeeper saved it anyway. It's a slightly risky approach there with the stutter, but the goal stands. So next up to take the penalty. They've let him get away with that little stuttering run-up. Goal stands. It is a goal despite that run-up, which looked a bit iffy. Here's the next penalty taker. Well, the stutter was OK. Goal given. Well, here he comes to try and keep his side in the shootout. Absolutely no margin for error for him. And that's a good penalty in the circumstances. So it's his turn now from the spot. Off target with the penalty. Well, you look at his run-up and even that looked wrong. It was a poor effort. It's potentially a match-winning penalty. A goal and the game is theirs. And the keeper saved it. Ready to go. The next penalty taker. He's hit the post. Well, it's down to him now. If he scores, they win the game. Off target. Up he comes for the penalty. Well, he did that little stutter in the run-up, but the goalkeeper still makes the save. If he scores, the game is won. The pressure was on, but he was up to the task, and they won the shootout. Well, they picked one of the most experienced men there, and he's paid off. It's their trophy. Final whistle's gone. They have won the English League Cup. Well, you can't blame them for jumping up and down, because thoroughly deserved winners. I thought they were by far the better team out there, and uh, look at the joy in their faces. Wonderful to be top of the pile in a competition. No wonder you're seeing unbridled joy here. Yeah, I think deserved winners, they played well in the final as they did over the course of the tournament. Well done, lads. Well, up they go. And memories that will live with them for the rest of their lives. To win this tournament and all that it means to those players. No wonder the bounce is back in them. Well, you've got all your family up in the stands. I'll be watching down proudly, and certainly there'll be a huge feeling of pride within that team. Why not? Thoroughly deserved winners. Beautifully staged, the final as well. And more to come with these uh, end of fireworks they provided the fireworks on the pitch a terrific team and for them a place in the history books and time to enjoy time to celebrate it's an awful day to be a loser but terrific final it has been a terrific final sometimes they disappoint don't they there's a little bit of tension and the teams can't express themselves but that wasn't the case here the losers as well played their part well, these are moments that flash by, but the experienced players will be just taking it in, drinking in the the moment when you have a, a success like this, Alan. Oh, yeah, I mean, they are moments to save, but you can't take them for granted because you never quite know when they're going to come again. Well, they're in the spotlight, and they've earned the right to be so. Superb effort from this team. It's something to show the grandkids, isn't it? BT like this, and they'll play it back after they've retired and really will appreciate it even more. So here we go in the final of the English League Cup. Well, it's a magnificent atmosphere within this stadium.